in their future. The Earth Expedition Ariars, which landed on Mars in the area of the Asadinian Plain. Scientists are collecting data to study. Suddenly, one of the expedition members discovers that a strong storm is heading towards them. The commander gives the order to evacuate. They leave the module and begin to move to the ship and get caught in a sandstorm. A group of six astronauts has to urgently and early leave the planet on the Mavmar's ascent vehicle takeoff module and go home on the Hermes orbital ship. While moving to the takeoff site, botanist Mark Watney is swept away by an element of a satellite dish and carried away by the storm. The astronaut's bio-monitor was damaged. The storm began to move the ship from its place. Martinez managed to keep the ship in a stable state the head of the mission. Melissa Lewis, having not found him and in considering him dead, uh, gives the order to launch the takeoff module. The astronaut is left alone on the planet, wounded without communication with Earth. Earth. It's, uh, the antenna is damaged and the ship is inaccessible. Mark manages to enter the living module and pull out a piece of metal that injured him when it collided with a piece of debris. He stays in a housing module with resources for a month for a group of six people. Mark figures he needs to transmit a signal to Earth and survive for three years until the next Ares IV mission. To replenish food supplies, Mark uses a few existing potatoes stored for the Thanksgiving dinner. He plants a vegetable garden to do this. He poured Martian soil inside the module, then added organic matter extracted from their waste as fertilizers and begins to grow potatoes. But in order to grow potatoes, he had to solve the water problem. To obtain water, Mark carries out a chemical reaction using the rocket fuel left in the tanks of the landing stage of the departed ship, Hydrazine. At first, he does not protect everything correctly and blows up the device. The Earth M side, Zanny corrects his basics and manages to create his plan. On Earth, everyone already thinks that Mark is dead and keep him. Almost two months after the evacuation, NASA experts analyzing satellite photographs suggest that Watney survived. NASA, everyone has already clarified that their astronaut is alive and is informing everyone in a pre-conference meeting. Mark is calculating the landing of the next one on the mission. He needs to cover 3,200 k to the designated location, but the rover on a full charge only covers 35 km. He needs to somehow extend the progress of the rover and he succeeds with the help spare parts for another Mars rover are not in working condition. On Mars, Watney finds the Mars Pathfinder apparatus, which has not been functioning since 1997. He uses the craft's transmitter to send data back to Earth. NASA correctly guesses his intentions and revives the program of the device, which no one has been monitoring for a long time. Having established contact, specialists begin calculations for the next manned mission, RS-5, taking into account the rescue operation, but it turns out that the preparation will take too much time. They want to send the astronaut a cargo ship with equipment and supplies for survival. Preparing a launch in a short time without checks ends in an explosion after launch. Chinese colleagues help by offering to launch the probe on their own carrier. On the surface of the planet, Mark makes the mistake of using only one airlock of the habitation module. The inflatable walls of the airlock are worn out, and one day there is an explosive depressurization of Mark's home. Clark is thrown along with the airlock several meters. He gets up and sees that the space wood is damaged and the oxygen is quickly running out without wasting time. He closes all the holes in the space with duct tape. The potato farm is dying. Meanwhile, the Hermes crew is flying home. On Earth, they believe that it is better for the crew not to know that Mark survived, but nevertheless, the team finds out the truth. One scientist calculates the angle of flight of Hermes and informs his superiors that he has calculated everything, and if Hermes, when approaching the ground, L will not slow down but will accelerate to using the gravity of the Earth, they were able to pick up the Chinese probe and continue to return to Mars. But the NASA director says that he cannot risk five lives to save one cancels the operation. And later, the team receives calculations from NASA Flight Control Director Mitch Henderson about how, having performed the Ritchie Purnell maneuver gravity maneuver near Earth, Hermes can return to Mars. They begin to vote and everyone agrees to go back to save Mark. Lewis and the crew decide to hack the ship's computer so that the flight control center does not stop them and return to the rescue of their comrade.
we are ready to spend another 533 days in space. Having intercepted the Chinese probe Taiyang Shen with the necessary supplies which launch towards them while flying around the Earth, the astronauts fly back to Mars. Seven months pass, Watney having learned about the return of Hermes to Mars, prepares to leave the habitable module forever. He takes all the necessary spare parts and things to overcome such a long distance. Having spent 461 Sol on the planet, approximately 472 Earth days, Mark sets off on the rover to the Schiaparelli crater to a distance of 3200 km, to where the MAV takeoff module is located for the future departure of the crew of the RS IV expedition. He will be informed that the module needs to be lightened by 5000 kg so that it can rise high enough to reach Hermes. Having made the MAV takeoff module as light as possible, the astronaut takes off from the surface of Mars. True, he still fails to gain sufficient speed. The covering covering the nose of the module is blown by the wind and the module begins to slow down. And the Hermes team has to take a gamble with breaking the ship in orbit with a jet stream of onboard air, but even after equalizing the speeds, Watney turns out to be too far away and is still out of reach for rescue. Then he decides to pierce the glove and using the stream of air flowing out of the spacesuit as a jet engine, overcomes several hundred meters of open space and reaches his commander, Lewis captures Whitney and successfully returns to the Hermes and then to Earth. Everyone is happy that Mark is saved. At home, Mark Watney becomes a rugged survival instructor for future astronauts. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe.